I receive hundreds of messages from thumbnail designers every single day. And yet, as a YouTuber managing multiple teams generating me over $15,000 a month, only a few catch my attention. So if you're a thumbnail designer, I'm gonna show you exactly how to charge the highest price possible for your work, fill up your DMs with interested clients, and even have big YouTubers chase you instead of you chasing them. And for those of you that stick around until the end, I'll also be giving away a free uncut tutorial by one of my thumbnail designers designers, teaching you how to design thumbnails like mine that get hundreds of thousands of views from scratch. But before that, you need to understand why a YouTuber would even hire you in the first place. From my experience, there are six characteristics that make the perfect thumbnail designers. First, you have cost. Highly skilled designers can obviously charge more, and bigger channels are willing to spend a lot more money on thumbnails than smaller channels with obviously smaller budgets. So whether or not your rates are gonna be a deal breaker is really just gonna be dependent on the client. Second is ideation, and for me personally, this is a game-changing skill a thumbnail designer can bring to the table. There are a ton of people who can create a thumbnail based on instructions, but there are very few who can help a YouTuber, such as myself, build out and improve improve on the concept and idea. To become a thumbnail ideation expert, you'll want to create your own channel probably, study thumbnail psychology across YouTube, and learn general design and color theory. But a word of warning, never claim that you can guarantee a specific CTR for a client because there are just too many factors that go into this that make it impossible for you to guarantee anything. Naturally, as a video gets more views and impressions, CTR will dip down, which makes it a bad measure for the success of your work. Instead, market yourself as a thumbnail designer and a YouTube expert that helps with ideation. Third is flexibility and revisions. As a YouTuber, I'm constantly changing and tweaking my thumbnails to get the best possible performance out of them. And most other creators I know do the same. So to increase your hireability, include a system for fast-paced revisions. If they want a few simple revisions, don't charge them full price for a second one. Charge them half or 30% or so to make things easy. Trust me, being easy to work with goes a long way. Fourth is speed. Most YouTubers expect less than a 24-hour turnaround time, so anything outside of that immediately becomes less desirable. Make sure that you meet this standard, and if possible, try to do it even faster if you can. The fifth is communication, because I can't tell you how many times a designer has delivered late without telling me, which is really infuriating when I have strict deadlines to meet. At the end of the day, creators are human and understand that life gets in the way sometimes, but you won't be surprised how many designers won't communicate when something goes wrong. So if something happens, respond quickly and keep a client updated when things are both going good and especially when things are going bad. And please don't make up excuses saying your grandma's in the hospital or your computer exploded. I've seen that so many times. And finally, in sixth place, we have talent, which yes, means it's not as important as you might think, but also doesn't mean it should be skipped. So continue working on your craft, study other creators, and take courses on how to improve. For example, when I wanted to start learning more about YouTube, I took courses on Skillshare from creators like Ali Abdal and Marcus Brownlee, and after a quick search, I was able to find a ton of courses on thumbnail design as well. And for those of you who are unaware, Skillshare is an online learning community that allows creators like the ones I just mentioned to sell courses that cover the information, tricks, and hacks they have learned from making hundreds of videos and building successful channels. Which means that you can learn what other creators have learned in years and thousands of uploads, all within as little as a few hours. And by doing that, you'll be able to learn secret techniques for improving your quality, but also your speed, which will help with being more reliable and your flexibility down the road. So to improve all six characteristics at once, you'll want to start by studying courses from reputable creators. That way, you'll also be capitalizing on the economic principle of scarcity, which simply means that the rarer you are, the more in demand you'll be and the more you can charge. And the good news is that I've partnered with Skillshare to give 500 people 30 days for free and 40% off their first year of membership. So click the link in my description below and start improving. And once you're done with that, you're gonna wanna start working with YouTubers through inbound and outbound leads. First, we have outbound, which just means you reach out to a creator via email or by social media like Twitter. Most designers use the spray and pray method, which involves sending out a ton of copy-pasted emails or messages hoping to get a few responses. Their messages usually look something like this. Hey bro, I'm graphic designer of seven years and I noticed your thumbnails could be improved. Yep, 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 yep. And I can design high CTR thumbnails for your channel. Check out my portfolio. And I promise you that the average designer success rate with this strategy is incredibly low. 
as most YouTubers simply aren't responding to this. Successful YouTubers get this exact type of message a thousand times a day and also don't really have time to read through your entire email, check your portfolio, find thumbnails you've made in the style they want, respond to your email, put you through a trial, wait for the trial, review the trial, and finally decide if they want to hire you or not. And if you think that's bad, multiply that by a thousand because the 1,000 other designers in their DMs are expecting the creator to do the exact same thing with their message. So don't do this. Instead, here's what you should do. First, don't insult them by saying that their thumbnails could be improved. Next, cut out the backstory and yapping. Start with two to three sentences that demonstrate your value in a quantifiable way, which might include referencing clients you have worked with or high-performing videos that you've worked on. And then offer to make them a thumbnail for free. But wait, I know my worth. I don't want to make a free thumbnail. Get out of this mindset. Yes, you'll lose a few hours of time that you won't get paid for, but it'll eventually pay itself off and more in the long run. Because if you're able to offer them a thumbnail that's better than what they currently have at a rate that they don't mind, then they have literally zero reason to tell you no. You'll lock them in long term and not only get paid by them long term, but also pick up on their connections, knowledge, and everything else they have to offer you. So in the grand scheme of things, it's 100% worth it. Going back to the email or DM you're writing, keep it short and sweet and literally just say, hey, I'm X. I'm a thumbnail designer of seven years and I redesigned the thumbnail for your X video. If you like it, reply to this email and we'll talk about working together long term. Feel free to use the thumbnail regardless. Your name. Now, if they don't respond to you, don't assume they aren't interested. According to data, 80% of client conversions need around 5 follow-ups. But for YouTubers, I would stick to following up around 3 days after your first message, then if they don't respond, follow up after a week, but if they still don't respond, then just drop it and move on. Eventually though, you'll start to get some clients. And if you're providing a great service, you'll start to receive inbound messages, which just means you YouTubers are reaching out to you instead of the other way around. How? Referrals. YouTubers interact with one another and recommend freelancers to each other all the time. And in fact, I'd say about 60% of the thumbnail designers I've personally worked with have come from YouTuber friends who refer them to me. So focus on building high quality relationships with clients and then ask them to recommend you to other clients. It's a small ask and nine times out of 10, the client will be more than happy to help you if you've worked together for a while. You can also use the website YouTube Jobs where freelancers upload videos they've worked on and receive verification through reviews and vouchers. When working with a client, offer a discount in exchange for verifying the work and providing a review. This serves as social proof of your quality as 90% of people trust reviews when buying a product or service. And once you do that, start posting your results on Twitter and maybe Instagram so that you can start building up a fan base, which you can eventually turn into an email list or something else to get you even more clients. And speaking of an email list, make sure to sign up to mine by heading to natewealth.com emails or using the link in the description below for actual access to the tutorial on how one of my designers makes my thumbnails. You'll also get weekly YouTube articles and a ton of free resources if you sign up, so make sure you don't miss out.